Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your Practical Astrologer, and today we are talking about love and money predictions for your sign. Now in this video, we are using Chinese astrology, but if you are also interested in Western astrology, I have a new video course out. It's called Finding the Hidden Money in Your Chart. There's a link in the description. Okay, Rabbit, this is going to be an easier year for you. Last year was your year, and that can be a challenging year because so many new things happen. Now the energy settles down a bit, even though you're still in a seed planting time. That means that there is still some changes. Now, they, when it comes to love, there's more of a romance feeling happening. And so you are looking for romance and that means that maybe you're getting engaged or maybe you are planning a beautiful wedding or maybe you're saying your vows on the beach somewhere and it's, you know, just an intimate party. And so you have that, but it's also that you might be wanting and wishing for the romance so much that it stays in your mind, it stays in your heart, and it's not expressed to your partner. And that's where you want to shift that so that you can tell your partner what it is that you need. So it is going to take a little bit of work to get on the same page with your partner. If they are also a rabbit, you have a stronger opportunity to find that you're both looking for the same thing this year. But if they are a different sign, their head could be elsewhere. And that means that you first want to start by empathizing where they're at and understanding where they're at and then gently guiding you both to a compromised position of, you know, a little bit of romance and maybe a little bit of business or a little bit of romance and a little bit of sitting on the sofa. Once you get on the same page with your partner, it is quite possible that the two of you will be dancing on air, that you'll find true harmony together. It is that effort of getting on the same page and really understanding each other, that's the hurdle for this year. Now, if you're looking for love, the places to go would be where you get more education. So that would be schools, classes, lectures, and things like that. Where you get more spiritual understanding. So churches, synagogues, um, spiritual retreats, yoga, teacher training, all of that sort of thing. And then also you could meet someone when traveling to new places. And that does, doesn't mean necessarily going around the world. Even going to the next town could be considered enough of a travel for you to meet somebody new. One of the areas where the two of you could have real harmony also is in finances. So if the romance isn't happening, get on the same page, financially speaking, with the same goals, you know, either saving for kids' education or paying off debt or something like that. And when you're in harmony there, then the romance can blossom. Now, because you're still in a seed planting time this year and in 2025, I need to do math there for a second. So um, you, there can still be changes in your relationship. So if you feel that this relationship is not moving forward, if it feels really stagnant, it is possible that you're going to talk to your partner very seriously about either getting some counseling or having some time apart. So that said, you could still get this relationship happening basically through a lot of effort, but you're going to have to weigh how much effort it's going to take to mend things uh, versus just moving forward. And again, if you're both rabbits, there is a chance that you can come together and strengthen this relationship. It is when you're different signs where their head may be elsewhere and they're not willing to make the adjustments needed to strengthen the relationship to get past this hurdle. Now, when it comes to your money, there is a great deal of focus on passive income sources, having your own business or doing investments. It looks like it's pretty solid with your money coming in with career. So you're looking for things that you can put into place that you don't have to work so hard. And so during the year, you could start to receive benefits from others. And that could include not just gifts of money, but also help learning how to invest or getting a business started or expanding an existing business. It is also possible that you could get some sort of government funding, money from your spouse because they're making more money, something from a relative, so through a, an inheritance or legacy or gift, um, but also just general money. So if you wanted to do some sort of crowdfunding, you could do that this year. 
A lot of the growth we see for you financially comes through making some sort of change because you are still in that window of change. And so looking for something different that you can do, and rather than just trying to build, putting one brick on top of the next to build the building, you know, this would be going off and getting help or, you know, getting a bulldozer. I don't know if a bulldozer helps you build a building, but, but you know, so looking at some bigger change to accelerate things. This is also very much about listening to trusted friends, family, and trusted sources out in the world. There's going to be a lot of hype, a lot of, you know, this is the latest and greatest. Uh, and if you don't invest now, you're going to miss out. There's going to be a lot of that sort of talk. And that may not make you feel very safe and secure. And so looking at somebody who has already has a track record of good choices, good decisions in investing can help you make better decisions yourself. And remember, you are quite psychic. You are very sensitive. When you feel the tide turning, make sure that you actively pull out your investment or have your stop losses in place. When you feel the energy shifting like the tides, make sure that you're ready to take action. And all of that means is just being aware of what's going on. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more details about what 2024 has to offer you, I do readings. Also check out my Western astrology course, Finding the Hidden Money in Your Chart. There's a link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.